Hello guys, welcome back to another Cushy Crypto video. I am down in France at the moment, enjoying some lovely box wine on recommendation from some friends down here. Today's video is on India. What the fuck, India? We're going to be looking at what India are doing with their crypto regulations. I covered this a little while ago. And honestly, I just don't understand what's wrong with them. They're going to be left behind, but we'll get into that in a minute. I've got a few other little things that we're going to talk about as well that's been happening. Overall, the markets are looking sweet. Litecoin is leading the way. Never fucking doubt Litecoin. All of that and more after this. Push the intro. Don't worry, you just relax. Everything's gonna be cushy. Cushy, 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 cushy. It'll be cushy. So the first major story that I want to talk about today is India's crypto regulations. Now, last time I spoke about this, they said that they're going to put in some framework. They're going to look at this, look at the space, and figure out what they need to do to, uh, you know, put in regulations because at the moment there's no regulations. Now, one of the proposals coming in for India's crypto regulation is completely stupid they are saying that if you are found to have whole if you are holding any cryptocurrency if you are mining any cryptocurrency then you could face a 10 year prison sentence 10 years that's fucking mad now i just want to say at the moment it is a proposal they're not actually good it's not actually like finalized yet but it's a proposal which is scary for any of you guys that live in india because of it just doesn't make any sense. Now, if anything, this really shows just how uh, out of touch the government is in India. And to just put a blanket ban on it is ridiculous. Now, also reading this article here from uh, Cointelegraph, they're also saying about how India want to implement their own cryptocurrency for uh, the country to use. Because in this actual proposal, they say that they have a proposed development of their own national cryptocurrency called the digital rupee now this isn't just the only one that they proposed for it apparently they proposed another one called the central bank digital currency which was meant to be implemented or start rolling out in the start of 2019 but it never did now like i said with this story it is only a proposal and the government said that they don't have well the rbi which is the reserve bank of india said they didn't have any plans to do this blanket ban but it is scary that the fact that this proposal is being forward, being put forward. Who's putting this proposal forward? I don't know. I mean, governments are scared of cryptocurrencies. They may not act like it, but they are. I mean, look at the dude in uh, America. I can't remember the old guy's name, but he said that it really devalues the power that America have over other countries. I'll play the clip. I look for colleagues to join with me in introducing a bill to uh, outlaw cryptocurrency uh, uh, owner uh, purchases by Americans so that we nip this in the bud, in part because not uh, an awful lot of our international power comes from the fact that the dollar is the standard unit of international uh, finance and transactions. Clearing through the New York Fed is critical for major oil, oil and other transactions. And it is the announced purpose of the supporters of cryptocurrency to take that power away from us, to put us in a position where the most significant sanctions we have on Iran, for example, would become uh, irrelevant. So whether it is to disempower our foreign policy, our tax collection uh, enforcement, or our law, traditional law enforcement, the purposes of cryptocurrency, the advantage it has over uh, uh, sovereign currency is solely uh, to aid in the disempowerment of, uh, of uh, the United States and the rule of law. And yet this proposal kind of confirms that we have to find out who's behind it. But overall, scary shit if you are living in India and um, yeah, their proposal for their own digital, for their own, you know, country's cryptocurrency isn't something new we've seen it in venezuela and places like that but i think uh, a lot more countries are going to be coming out with their own cryptocurrency and it's going to be very interesting to see um what they do to incentivize people using it you know because why would you use a government cryptocurrency when you can use bitcoin fucking for the people why would you want to go to the government again they fucked up your money once they're fucking up again <laughs> Just buy fucking Bitcoin, honestly. That's my fucking head in. It really does my head in try, trying to make people understand 
the power of Bitcoin. It's just, some people just don't get it. It's funny because last time I talked about this story back in February, they said that they had, uh, the Supreme Court in India said that they had four weeks to put in a regulation framework for uh, cryptocurrencies in the uh, space. So that should have just ended in March. We're now in June and it doesn't seem like they've got anywhere with it. So uh, India, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with it. I was going to I was going to talk directly to India then. <laughs> But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what India do. If you are in India, it would be great to hear from you. See if you are fearful in this space, see what you're doing. We've had CZ tweeting about this India cryptocurrency potential ban. And uh, he says it's really going to push the adoption of privacy coins such as Monero or Litecoin in the future. Litecoin are putting in privacy features. So um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. India, huge amount of population, huge amount of people. I feel like they could really benefit with cryptocurrencies and uh, you know people just using mobile phones for payments. There are probably a lot of unbanked people there, people that don't have bank accounts. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this story and we will move on to the next story. The second story that I want to quickly cover today is the hacking of the Komodo Agnagma wallet. Agama, I don't know why I say Agnagma all the time. Yes, Agama wallet. The hackers managed to get into a back door and find out the seed phrases of people's wallets, but the team over at Komodo managed to use the same exploit that the hackers used to uh, secure the funds, stop them being taken, and they advised people to uh, make a new wallet and send funds over there. So they managed to actually stop the hack. These hackers were actually nearly able to get 8 million Komodo tokens and 96 Bitcoins, together worth $13 million nearly. But well done to the team, stopping the hack. Hopefully they've patched it all up. You know, I don't really like the Ag Ag Agnama wallet anyway, to be honest, Agama wallet, sorry. I'm not really a fan of it. Then I'm a fan of Komodo. I like Red Fox as well, Bitcoin Benny, shout out to you, man. But um, yeah, the Agna Ag Agama wallet, I just wasn't really a fan of, but uh, you know, things move on, developments get better, technology gets better, the team are working on new wallets, I think there's like a chameleon wallet or something like that which I want to look into more. I'm still a hold of Komodo, I think uh, over the next year it's going to do well hopefully and um, yeah it seems like they're doing a lot, especially integrating Red Fox and you know moving into those Asian markets, replicating unicorn models or whatever and uh, pushing gaming and all of that stuff. It's very exciting stuff. If you don't know about Komodo, they are really good at atomic swaps. They've got their barter decks coming out, their mobile phone, their mobile decks coming out soon. All good shit coming out of Komodo. Good shit that they managed to stop this hack. You know, all cryptocurrencies can fall victim to um, hacks and how a team deals with it is obviously uh, major in ref uh, is obviously a major reflection on uh, the team itself. I mean, look at Cryptopia, for example, uh, Electronium. They've all had hacks in the past. Binance, for example, had a hack. And uh, everyone praised CZ for the hack. I'm praising the Komodo team. I've seen a lot of praise online for the Komodo team for stopping this hack. Well done to you guys. <laughs> Moving on. Now, the last story that I want to talk about today is probably a story that you've heard about so much about Justin... Uh, son and him getting his winning bid to have lunch with Warren Buffett and inviting some people in the crypto space to this lunch with Warren Buffett. Now, obviously, the promotion was really great. He paid 4.5 million or 4.9 million, whatever it was, to actually secure his lunch with the Buffett. The Buffett with the Buffett. Whether or not it's going to pay off, I don't know. I expect Warren Buffett to just sit there and be like, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, to be honest. He's, how the fuck is he going to understand it? I just don't think he is. He, he's got smart people around him that have probably already spoken to him about cryptocurrencies. And he's just like, I don't get it. I do not. I don't understand it. That's my Warren Buffett expression uh, impression. But he's inviting other people in the space, Charlie Lee and uh, CZ and all that. Now, the promotion that he got from this bid globally is, uh, you know, worth worth the money. Tron itself, I have never bought Tron in my life. In my life, I've never bought Tron um, or BTT or any of them. But on the lead up to that, they might try and hype up the project. You know what Justin's like, making an announcement for an announcement, all that stuff. It's just... Yeah, it's just, it just never goes away. It's going to get old, though. 2019, it's, it's going to get old. 
Justin could lose some credibility. I mean, if you are a Tron holder or a Tron lover, then let me know in the comments down below. But and and do you think that Justin Sun and Charlie Lee and the other guys can actually change his mind? Do you think they're even going to accept? Do you think CD and Charlie Lee are going to accept Justin's invite to go and have lunch with Warren Buffett? Me personally, I don't know if they will. To be honest, I mean, well done to Justin. He comes off he comes off pretty well in his TV interviews. I got I got to give him that. Well done, Justin. But um, you know, he's a hustler. He's there to stack sats, I think, and um, you know. Who knows what's going to happen to Tron in the future? It's always going to be around unless a big hack comes along. Like with all these altcoins, they're always going to be around. Altcoin season could be around the corner, guys. Be ready to stack them sats. <laughs> Get out of those old coins. Increase the only one that matters, which is Bitcoin and potentially Litecoin as well. You know, I'm a Litecoin fan as well. But those are the only ones to me that I really love: Litecoin and Bitcoin. When you see guys such as Charles Hoskinson and Charlie Lee, guys that want to change the world for the better, they all understand the power of Bitcoin, the power of the decentralization aspect of it, and the power to just change the world for the better, especially in third world countries where they're suffering that's where it really matters to me and uh, i hope you understand the power of that as well because you know there's a lot of scammers in this space there's a lot of you know shady shit going on but if you can see through all that shit then you can see the upgrade that the world has coming around the corner for people in poverty and for you just don't left be left behind because I don't want you to be left behind. I don't want regular people to be left behind. Dude. You can easily buy Bitcoin. Very easily. That's all you need to do. Just buy Bitcoin. With all that being said, I appreciate you watching this all the way to the end. If you're a long-time subscriber of mine, which, you know, there's probably not many of you left, to be honest. <laughs> or if you're a new person watching this, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. <laughs> do well in the next uh, altcoin season. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. I have drunk a fair amount of wine t over the last few hours, and um, you know I, I do love it down here in France. You know I've moved away from the UK. I'm not a fan of the UK anymore. I don't like British politics. I don't like Theresa May. I don't like all of that shit. All that fake Brexit shit. All that no no deal Brexit. I fucking hate all that stuff. I fucking hate it. Buy Bitcoin. Let's end it there. I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Subscribe. Goodbye.